get this match going and it is Zambia who turn out with the copper tops playing in the green shorts and green socks taking on a Cameroon outfit who play in the green, red and yellow. Both these sides looking for victory, both these sides looking for a positive start and both these sides well capable of booking a ticket to the FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia, New Zealand. Cameroon possess in attack. You see precious little of Gabriel Labudi Ungeni, but now we've got Zambia on the attack through Zulu. Zulu tries to luck from a relatively tight angle. There were options inside, but it's good to see some confidence early on, I suppose. Yes, this is really good for Zulu. Like I said, like it's very, very important for these players to go out. They are very, very pacey team. They are trying to go behind Cameroon defence right now. That was a good. That was a good one right there. She's certainly somebody who's around, though. It must be. Uh, it must be noted. There's another chance here. A body on game, delivery into that danger area, looking for Ajara and Joya. Doesn't find the finish again. The clearance from Zambia. Delivery comes again, and Nali has come out, but she's failed to meet it. I think uh, Cameroon is going to do lots of this, like trying to cross the ball behind the Zambia, the back line. But, yeah. Because whistle sounds, and Belek delivers. Looks to go directly at goal here, and it is just a little high. An ambitious attempt from uh, a relatively tight angle, but trying her luck in the opening stages and perhaps just testing the uh, the field. Yes, you could see the trajectory of the of the ball. The idea was there. Zana just showing some of her uh, futsal playing skills when taking that uh, set piece initially. Shin and looking to combine. Zana delivery in. The header is knocked back down in front of goal. A real chance for Cameroon. It's been blown over by Ngok. A chance for the teenager to score in her first Women's Africa Foot Cup of Nations. And she's gone and missed the opportunity. Glorious here for Cameroon, who had players lining what, up to finish. What a miss right there. That was very, very unfortunate for her. That would have been one of the greatest moments for her. Hands of players inside the area. Buriongeni with the delivery. Was there a handball? There was an appeals for handball and a penalty. We have. So, uh, I don't think Zambia wants to see this right now. So, this is the delivery in. from an angle but there were frantic appeals from a handful of the Cameroonian players the ball into the and it, uh, it is interesting to see where things are going now Hazel Nali a bit of a scramble to gather that ball at the second time of asking a cross coming in didn't deal with it as comfortably as she would have liked over 10 minutes gone in the second half. Goal as it remains, but it could have changed here. That, that was a good one from her. Uh, she made a. Okay, and seeing the referee, Aisata Lam, placed by the Ethiopian fourth official. Chance here, real chance here. It's got to be the opening goal, surely, and no, it's driven wide. How did Gamini miss from there? Eyes down. As she heads back to an area in the centre of the pitch, Hazel Nali is down on the pitch as well. But how about this from a ball from Estelle Johnson into the danger area for danger player? What is Shannon? Should this Cameroon should be like one nick up already. This is no. Hazel Nali just a moment ago nearly beaten. What a chance. She gets a touch on this ball as it's lobbed over. Kameni, look at that frustration, just slams the ball into the advertising boards. She did spend the bulk of her childhood though growing up in Colorado in the United States. She was born in Cameroon. Three over the top here. A chance for Cameroon! Oh, it's a glorious a chance, chance again! It's out for the corner, it's deflected off the defender, but Ajara and Chut and Joya again looking for the opening goal in this tie. Very 
there's so much momentum building towards an opening goal in this match. But so far, it remains goalless. Look at the coordination right there. You can tell the captain, she's always... Somebody who also wants to study physiotherapy to give herself a career beyond football is Belemu. It's a little too strong from Belemu. Players gathering in the area. There were four Zambian players who were gathering into uh, taking positions. Belemu's attempt to get that ball into one of them a little too strong. Good idea, but the press was just too much. An opening goal in this tie. Cameroon have had their chances, they failed to take them. Zambia growing in confidence. Take a shot here, but it's wide by Chanda. That was another great effort from, from Chanda. Great effort right there. She's just looking for slight chance to take a shot. So, players lining up. Will it be Chanda third to hit this one? It is Chanda who looks to take it. It hits the wall. Is appeals for a penalty here as the ball ricochets off a handful of Cameroonian players. It looks like as the player who is down slowly rises to her feet, but. Struck Johnson also. Meanwhile, Zambia here scrambling for a chance in attack. A shot taken, but again failing to hit the target. The Zesco United star Chitundu. Zambia is starting to show up right now. Really are showing up. Since uh, Cameroon didn't use the, the chance they created. This is one thing I don't like about football. When you have your chances, you don't utilize them. Up forward, Yango. Jersey pulled a little. Ball through here, real chance for Kameni. Nali's come out, the ball is still alive. Goalkeeper off the line and cleared off the line brilliantly by Mwemba. As we hit the 90 minute mark. I think I think it's something he knows like he would have done too. So for him to laugh that way, he knows that yeah, that was a good save right there. That was an excellent save. That was a, good one. a header on target from Cameroon in the closing minutes. Kameni with the uh, initial chance and then tried to follow up with the header that was on target, putting her body on the line. Lushoma Mwemba. Chanda is now waved back on as Cameroon are in search of a last gasp winner. Is there one to come? Feels for a free kick, not to come. Nzana. Delivery in, it's a free ball here, a one on one! And the offside flag has gone up. Just when Cameroon began to celebrate, players wanted to run onto the pitch and jumping in joy with the Cameroon supporters. The offside flag has gone up. That will be checked. But just to be sure, what a moment potentially for Cameroon. A defensive lapse. <laughs> even Eto disagree with that. So will Eto. <laughs> Just a wave of the finger at this ball that was whipped in. And defensive lapse. Was there a foul? No foul. Tucked away by Enjoya. That, 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 that was a clear offside. That was a clear one. Correct call. So no magical moment. But that ultimately is the end of this Group B tie. Cameroon and Zambia played to a goalless draw in their opening match of the Total Energies Women's Africa Cup of Nations in Group B.